Welcome to the Okta release highlights. We will go over new generally available features and early access new features, so let's get started. The sign-in widget version 7.4.0 update includes three bug fixes and now updates translations. Okta LDAP Agent version 5.16.0. This version of the agent contains use of FIPS 140-2 validated cryptographic security modules. It also now supports LDAP Agent Auto Update. Upon agent installation on Linux platforms, Okta now grants the Okta LDAP service user permission to automatically install the newest agent version using the Auto Update feature. Finally, this release includes bug fixes and security enhancements. Okta Identity Engine provides a powerful and more customizable identity experience. Self-service functionality for OIE is being rolled out to eligible Okta preview and production orgs. The OIE Upgrade Hub is a new page that will be displayed in the Okta Admin Console dashboard when the org is eligible for upgrade, providing a quick and easy way to schedule an upgrade of your Okta org to OIE. Agents page added to the navigation panel. The operational status of org agents can now be viewed by selecting the Agents page from the navigation panel. Device Management Signal Collection Device management attestation signals are collected only when associated endpoint management configuration is present. Rate limit increased for event hooks. The number of events that can be delivered to event hooks is now 400,000 events per org per day. Updated Okta logo. New Okta branding is now used for the admin console in the sign-in page and the browser page favicon. Manage the Okta loading animation for custom apps. This feature is being re-released. You can now disable the default Okta loading animation that appears when users are redirected to custom applications, and users are shown a blank page instead. This allows you to present a more branded end user experience. New error pages. Content security policy violations in the Authenticator enrollment flow now redirect to user-friendly error pages. SAML Logout Metadata SAML app integration metadata details now includes logout URL information when single logout is enabled. OIN Manager Enhancements The OIN Manager now includes text to support API service integrations. System Log Event A new system log event is created when an LDAP interface operation fails because an administrative rate limit was exceeded. Enhanced Admin Console Search The Admin Console Search now displays your search results in a user-friendly drop-down list. The list provides top results, people, apps, and groups filters so you can quickly and easily find what you're looking for. Improvements to Self-Service Account Activities for AD and LDAP User Previously, the Self-Service Unlock and Self-Service Password Reset flows created unnecessary friction for AD and LDAP users. This enhancement introduces a seamless magic link in emails sent to unlock accounts and reset passwords. Users no longer need to provide consent when using the same browser. In addition, after successfully unlocking their account, clicking the email magic link counts towards the application's assurance policy. After the assurance requirements are met, the user is signed in directly to the application. Optional Consent Settings for OAuth 2.0 Scope OAuth 2.0 Optional Consent provides an optional setting that enables a user to opt in or opt out of an app's requested OAuth scope. When user consent is set to optional, the user can skip consent for that scope. SAML Setup Parameters More setup parameters are now visible when configuring SAML as a sign-in method for app integrations. Log Streaming while Okta captures and stores its system log events, many organizations use third-party systems to monitor, aggregate, and act on event data. Log streaming enables Okta admins to more easily and securely send system log events to a specified system such as Amazon EventBridge in real time with simple, pre-built connectors. They can easily scale without worrying about rate limits and no admin API token is required. 
OIDC identity providers private and public key pair support. Previously, Okta only supported the use of client secret as the client authentication method with an OpenID Connect-based identity provider. Okta now supports the use of private and public key pairs with OpenID Connect-based identity providers. Additionally, the signed request object now also supports the use of private and public key pairs. Let's wrap up with a look at early access features now available. Verify Zoom users with Okta. Zoom users can now attest and verify a user's identity between two independent parties using Okta signed tokens. Thanks for viewing the Okta release highlights. For additional details, please visit the Okta release notes and product notes links, which can be found in the video description.